Okay, this is what all you're going to need. You're going to need some sweet potatoes already cooked and cooled off so that the butter has hardened. Sweet potatoes are cold. I have already cooked those. You're going to need one egg, some pie crust, something to stir up your and mash your potatoes with. This is what all I put in the sweet potatoes when I cooked it. Some vanilla extract. Well, that's invitation vanilla flavor. Some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some pumpkin pie spice. Some brown sugar. That's what all I put in here. And some butter. Okay, I'm almost finished with mashing up my sweet potatoes. I have a potato masher, but I can't seem to find it, so I'm using this hip fork. It's working just fine here. Okay, now I'm going to do my one little egg here. That's all I had in my work one. I'm going to crack my egg, mix it up. I'm going to stir this here up. Beat it up before I mix it in with my potato. Let me move this over. Now I'm going to pour my egg in. I have my oven preheating. Now I'm going to mix the egg up in the potato. Make it kind of fluffy once it get cooked. But we don't want too much egg because we don't want it tasting like egg. We want it to taste like sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are good for you. And I love sweet potatoes. I like them baked, fried sweet potatoes. Sweet potato fries are delicious. Get all that mixed up in there. Sure, we got it mixed up real good. Okay, I'm going to set this here to the side and I'm going to open up my pie roll here. Okay, I'm going to unroll my pie dough. And I'm going to unroll it in this direction so that you guys can see better. Oops. 
some. You have to make sure that it's soft so it won't fall apart. Don't try to do this while it's still frozen. Take it out and let it get soft. Knife, and I'm going to just like cut this here edge off. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, just cut a little edge off. I'm going to throw this away. Now it's time to smooth it all out. Let's see if we can get that kind of like even. Okay, now we're going to roll it. Roll it. Slowly. Roll it. Some might come out on the side, but it's okay. There. Now you want to spray your pan with a little oil. like that. I'm going to lay your roll in there. And you 
you want to spray your roll with a little oil. And if you got any potato oil on your pan, you can wipe that off. Now you want to take a fork and you want to like poke a little holes in it, a little bit on the side. Side. Now it's ready to go in the oven. You have to excuse me guys because I have a little cold so my voice isn't sounding too well. Okay, you want to set this in the middle rack in your oven. You don't want it down too low or up too high. Now you can start to bake it at 350 preheated oven. I baked the chicken breast and then I made it into a salad. I have some lettuce and some mild cheddar cheese and chicken breast. Now here is our sweet potato roll. I'm going to cut it now and have cooled off some, so I'm going to slice it. Let's see which jam should I slice first. I'm going to slice the big end first. It's cool enough for me to pick up without falling apart. Okay, I'm going to try to pick a piece up without falling apart. That first piece is always the hardest to pick up. Yeah. There it goes. It's still kind of hot, so it's falling apart. Have to let it cool off some more. Now, let's get a little taste of it here. You guys want some? Yeah, I'll let you have some too. And I'm going to eat the rest. Mmm, 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 mmm. The flaky crust just melts in your mouth. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is delicious. You have to try it. You really have to try it to see it. 